Friday night fright. So we got an update tonight for the locals here in Parkersburg, West Virginia, that there was a body found in McDonough Park, which is up by North Hills area as you get toward Vienna. We're pretty close to it off Rosemar Road. And I guess nobody knows anything about it. Nobody knows the gender, but it was found this morning. They had the trail blocked off and everything. And that's all we know, but the helicopters have been out again for the past week, and people were wondering why. I noticed they were out three nights, but I've been back at work and working a lot of hours, so I didn't know they were out every single night. So uh, they haven't had the searchlights on, like the spotlights, so I don't know what they're looking for, but they're definitely looking for something. They're not medical choppers. And an update on a recent UFO sighting I had about three weeks ago. On uh, Indrid Cold, if you don't know who Indrid Cold is, look him up. That's who my friend Tanya Derenberger was associated with, the original host of Night Frights, who recently passed away on May 23rd. Well, I was asking Indrid to show up again, uh, dating back to my July 20th, 2020 sighting, where we saw a silver disc in the sky with two, two other witnesses in the Army. That was in Germany. Well, here in Parkersburg, West Virginia... I actually had a UFO sighting and it looked like it was different. It wasn't the same one, but after I was asking Indra to show up again, after that fantastic sighting three years ago, I saw what looked like a flashlight beam in the sky and it was over the clouds. So the clouds were kind of broken up. There were like holes in them, you know, like it wasn't like just complete cloud cover. And through the openings of the clouds, I could see this flashlight beam, but it was big. And it only lasted for one second, and I didn't see anything more. So that was as I was sitting up there at the Parkersburg South Library at about 11 at night. And that's all I had, although tonight my buddy Shane actually wondered if there was like a... Um, kind of like, not a man in black, but I can't remember what they're called anymore, but the, the spirits, the dark spirits that you see. I, I saw one in 2013 in Muncie, Indiana in my room, and it just kind of dissipated over time. My friend Shatera Hager, she saw one years and years ago and scared the shit out of her. So that was before she went in the Army. But yeah, it's a real thing, and he wondered if... Because he had that ominous presence, and he actually was talking about how my friend Shane, how in the past where he had an entity felt like it was putting pressure on his chest and put its hands on its mouth on his mouth and he said he heard like static sound like static from a television it was like going on in his head or something and then he went to utter the name of Jesus because that's what makes evil spirits go away then he said before he could even get the word out it had left like it knew his intentionality or something so he'll tell that story later but I just wanted to kind of preface it for you guys but there's a lot been going on. Uh, we haven't been on for about three weeks. We've been busy with everything. We've got a lot of stories to tell. We'll try to hit you guys with that over time. But no update yet on the body found at McDonough Park. You'll probably find it on your local news outlets here in the next day or so on WTAP or whatever as you look online. But right now, nobody really has answers. So I will tell you guys, if you're looking to download a scanner app, I think there's one called Real Scanner and you can download that for your phone that should give you like the police scanners on your phone my coworker had that come up and i said how do you download that and he told me about it so we're gonna go ahead and do that maybe we'll find some more information for you guys as far as per places to search in the gretchen fleming case we're still we still have some pretty good ideas i, I just can't get my two days off to line up with my friend bow and arrow but as soon as we do we're gonna go out there and look in a couple spots where we really think, you know, something could be. But we're going to be like everybody else and just wait for updates on this body and see what's going on here. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in here on Friday Night Frights. We're going to have more uh, buildings that we're going to search and, and put out on the channel for you. And we'll see you then.